Overnight, celebrations and even some fireworks in Minneapolis. After ten and a half hours of deliberation, Members of the jury, I will now read the verdicts. As they Judge Peter Cahill the announcing the fate of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Chauvin, convicted of all three counts, second degree murder, third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter. The jury of seven women and five men, which included six people of color, stayed late Monday night and came in early Wednesday, working swiftly without sending a single question during their ten and a half hours of deliberations. The former officer, silent and stoic as the verdict was read, eventually led away in handcuffs and taken back into custody. At George Floyd Square, near where he was murdered, the crowd erupting in cheers. And in Houston, Floyd's family members, including his older brother, watching as the verdict was read. Today, we are able to breathe again. Just because you are a law, you're not above the law. Convicted, guilty on all counts, George Floyd mattered. Headlines from some of the nation's top newspapers this morning. Even President Biden sharing a solemn moment with the family, saying the verdict is a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done. In order to deliver real change and reform, we can and we must do more to reduce the likelihood that tragedies like this will ever happen and occur again. Overnight, Democrats renewing their push for Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act that would ban chokeholds and no-knock warrants, among other measures. Now, despite the renewed energy for legislation, the bill faces an uphill battle on Capitol Hill. It'll need the support of all Democrats plus 10 Republicans. Ike Ajaji, ABC News, Minneapolis.